couple friends. <laughs> uh, I want to tell a story. I was originally going to post this on my second channel. But you know what? It's too much of a glorious story to not post on the main channel. It's so cringeworthy and it's so embarrassing. But I want to talk about it. So last night I was meeting up with a friend who I haven't seen in ages. We were just going to chillax and hang. So I went out, got in my car, drove along, pulled up at one of these, you know, one of those outdoor villagey kind of things with like a petrol station and a couple food outlets and stuff. Well, I pulled up there and there was a 7-Eleven and I got uh, some Slurpees. This was like at 20 past 8 at night, down in the middle of a suburb that, you know, was just Anywhere, it was just totally anywhere. Got my Slurpees, paid for them, was walking along and my phone goes off. Now, I need to tell you that I am a massive introvert. I don't have a lot of friends. I don't get a lot of text messages. So when I'm just out and about getting a couple Slurpees to get a text message, all of a sudden, very coincidental. Something very, very just, oh. Why would this happen? It was from one of my friends uh, texting me. For the sake of disclosure, I'm gonna call this friend Sally. Let's call her Sally. Anyway, so Sally has texted me saying, what you up to? And I'm currently standing in a 7-Eleven, trying to hold two Slurpees, trying to hold my wallet and trying to text at the same time. And I say, oh, nothing much. I said, what about you? She texts me saying, oh, I'm about to go eat, um, but do you want to go for a drive and like listen to music, which is something that we always do, me and Sally. And I was like, well, you know, driving sounds fun. On a Saturday night, just out driving, it seems fun. And so, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, no, give me a few. I'll text you when I'm ready. And she texts me, saying, oh, I'll be a little while, no need to rush. So I'm like, okay, okay, you're inviting me. Now you're telling me that you won't be ready for a while. No rush. I'm currently standing in the middle of a 7-Eleven. I'm like, mm-hmm, okay, okay. And I need to tell you that the, the suburb that I'm in for this 7-Eleven, Sally lives near here. And I'm like, is, is Sally here? Can she see me standing in the middle of the 7-Eleven with two Slurpees, trying to fumble for my phone and my wallet uh, as I get to my car? And then I have to get my keys to unlock my car. So I'm walking along and I get to my car, put the stuff down, whatever. And I'm meeting my friend over at Domino's. I hadn't seen this friend in ages. I get in my car, I go around the 7-Eleven, I cross the road, and then I park across from a blockbuster that like, there's a blockbuster and then a Domino's is attached on the side. So I, I'm sitting in front of Domino's. This is at 8.30 at night in the middle of nowhere, basically. Well, not in the middle of nowhere, but just in a random suburb in just, you know, I'm being very vague because I don't want it. I'm just trying to have disclosure in this. I'm just sitting there. I'm waiting for my friend to finish. There's lots of cars driving in and out, just, you know, doing whatever. And I'm just sitting here, I'm like, okay, just waiting. Then all of a sudden, these pair of lights come up in my rearview mirror in my car. I'm sitting in the car park. There's no other cars around me. Because I'm such an introvert, I just park in the most isolated place ever. I don't park next to other cars. A pair of headlights come up in my rearview mirror. And then a car comes along and parks right next to me. I need to tell you what's going through my head. I'm in the middle of a car park. I'm in front of Blockbuster, just sitting here with two Slurpees and a car has just pulled up next to me. I'm like, oh my God. I can understand if, okay, you're going to Domino's, cool. Then why did you park next to me? Out of all the car parks in this spot, you park next to me. And then I look round and I'm cringing and I melt in my seat. You have no idea how much I just felt like I was melting in my seat. I just, I just want to, <laughs> the person that's in the car next to me is Sally. Now, I told you Sally lives in this neighborhood, but of all times, 8.30 at night, across the road from 7-Eleven in front of a blockbuster, just chilling with two Slurpees, Sally comes and parks next to me. <laughs> I, I put my window down. I look and I say, hi. And then Sally is like, what are you doing here? What are you doing in my hood? And then I'm just cringing and I'm just, Oh. So I'm just sitting there and I'm like, oh, you know, I've just got some Slurpees and I'm just chilling here. I'm thinking of getting some Domino's actually, you know, I might get some Domino's. I would like, I'm thinking I got some Slurpees. I kind of across the road. I'm like, you know what? I feel like some Domino's. I might, I might get some Domino's. I just, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just kind of sitting here thinking. And then Sally is like, oh, oh, okay. Right. 
I'm just meeting a friend, that's all I'm doing. I send a snap saying, aboard, aboard, <laughs> friend is here. And I send the snap, and then as soon as I realize that I've sent the snap, and it comes up with, you know, when you're on Snapchat and it loads that you've sent, you're sending it. I'm sitting there and I look down and I feel like I'm about to self combust. As soon as I see what I see on my phone, it's over, it's done. I'm ready to just ascend from this body and just leave. I'm ready to just leave because the, I'm, you know when you know that thing dying of embarrassment? That's what I felt like last night. <laughs> because I looked at my phone and realized that I didn't send that aboard, aboard Snapchat to my friend. I sent it to the person sitting next to me in the car. I sent it to Sally. Sally got a Snapchat from me saying aboard, aboard, friend is here. I need to tell you now that my life is a series of unfortunate events. I just, I can't, I can't with te technology. I just can't, I physically can't. And so by then I'm panicking, I'm like, fuck, okay, well, I just sent it. I can't undo this. This is not happening. Sally's just sitting there. She's sitting there in her car looking at me going, so are you, are you gonna order some pizza? And I'm just kind of sitting there going, she hasn't seen the, the snap. She hasn't seen it. That's okay. So I was like, um, you know, I've got two Slurpees, you know, I, um, I might give it a miss. I don't think I feel like some, I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think I feel like some pizza now. I just, you know, I'm not feeling it. I think I might just go home. And then Sally's like, oh, oh, okay, so you're not gonna get some pizza. And I'm like, yeah, no, I, th I think, I, th I think I might go. I think I might go. And so <laughs> I put the car into gear and then go to move forward until I realize there is a massive concrete slab in front of my car that I can't kind of drive through. So I ram up a little bit against this concrete slab and then Sally says, you might want to put it into reverse, love. And I'm just kind of sitting there going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I need to get out of here, I need to get out of here, I need to get out of here, I need to get out of here. And so I was like, <laughs> yeah, 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 no, I'll, I'll, I'll just put it into reverse. I'm just, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna get out of here. And so then I put it in reverse. I slam on the accelerator, I fly backwards, put it into drive, and then fly out of this car park. And then I'm driving back home and I'm just literally sitting there in the car going, Fuck my life, fuck my life, fuck my life. Because I just can't escape any of my friends. I just can't escape anyone that I know in the area that I live. Because it's just such a small place and everybody knows where everybody is. I'm driving home just thinking, far out, I can't do anything. And I get a Snapchat from Sally, so she's obviously seen the Snapchat now. And I get a text message, or a snap text message thing, that just says, LOL. I just can't do anything without somebody finding me. So that's why I tweeted last night. I was like, I've just discovered tonight that no matter where you are, whatever night, whatever time it may be, your friends will always find you in some way or form. It's like you just can't have a personal life anymore. And here I am making YouTube videos. <laughs> that's what happened. It's probably not as cringy as I made it out to be or hilarious as I made it out to be. But now that I look back at it, I'm just like, if you did enjoy this video, you should give it a little thumbs up because it'll make me feel better because I'm just so embarrassed right now. I'm gonna go. I hope you enjoyed this little video. It was just me just having a little chat about something. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good week. And I will hopefully see you next week, maybe. Also, Christmas is coming up on Friday. So I hope you have a good Christmas. I know this wasn't a very festive video, but you know, I hope you have a good Christmas because I'm just going to be over there, literally, just watching Netflix with a whole bunch of food because that's just what I do on Christmas Day. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to go. <laughs> like I said before, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye.